Right, you looking for eggs? Is that what you're doing? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> folks I'm on the second plane of the day I didn't um, say anything on the first it was like three in the morning when I got to the airport and uh, uh, a lot of people was trying to sleep uh, so I am just going to talk real quick now I'll say I'm ending up with Lonnie and the news family we go camping for four days and we're doing two food challenges uh, so after the intro uh, when I get to the airport and he picks me up I'll talk to you guys a little bit more uh, see you then Unbelievable. <laughs> you got a dusty beaver here, Ranger. Yeah, well, I'm working on that. Guys, just got off the plane. Um, I'm gonna meet Lonnie in a minute. I'm gonna have to use the restroom real quick. I'm not gonna take you in there with me, um, but I will uh, see you guys in a bit. Uh, after that, I'm gonna get my bag. Probably be another 20 minutes for that. But I, when I uh, reach Lonnie, um, I'll talk to you then. But made it safe and sound with no hiccups. And uh, okay, I guess I won't take the escalator. Um, it's easy going down. That she said. Okay, talk to you later.
again. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the channel and you have a good one. Okay, I'm gonna call Lonnie now and let him know that I am I am good. Okay. Let's go outside. Hey, I just I just got my bag. I'm headed out out the, the baggage claim door. Okay, I'll be pulling up over there. I'm over here to get a little store around the corner. Okay. You ain't drinking already, are you? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'll be out here. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. All right. He said he was around the, the corner of the store. I don't, I don't think he got what I was saying that he was drinking at this corner store. But um, that's what I usually do in Memphis. I sit at the store kind of near the airport if I'm way early because um, it's uh, not a big deal for them. They usually get used to people doing that. But they do got a cell phone lot where people do that at the at the airport as well. This this is not a really big um, airport. Uh, go ahead, folks. You said. And on this trip, I'm going to just try to give you an an eye maneuver instead of saying that's what she said because he has uh, two or three daughters that's going to be there. So I don't want to say that's what she said all the time. So I'll just do a I'll do one of these like like that maybe, and and you just do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here they come. I'm, I'm going to uh, shut this down so I can put this in the car. What has happened? I showed some skin so I can get in. How you doing? Good. How are you? What is happening, folks? I am with Lonnie. I'm in the noons. Miss Grammy and... Lonnie, there Hello. you go. Uh, they did pick me up. They was waiting around the corner, I believe. You don't have to do the air for me, folks. I'm good at uh, 455 air. Oh, I'm doing the air for me. Oh, hey. okay. <laughs> I'll say four windows going 55 is 455 air. Um, but um, I'll talk to you later once we uh, get established. But I just want to let you know I made it. Um, I am in sunny California. I passed through some orange trees. I think they had some orange trees I saw in the airport. Uh, I thought that was Florida. Y'all do oranges here too? Oh yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'll um, I'll talk to you in a little bit and, and um, let Lonnie and them know how the trip went and everything, so I don't have to double talk because I'm trying to catch my breath still from just jumping in this truck. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna catch a tan on this trip, I think. <laughs> Go post stop recording. Excuse me, I'm sorry, it's the climate change from uh, coming all the way from Mississippi uh, to uh, Lonnie's uh, in the noons uh, spot. Uh, it is uh, it's about the same temperature, yeah. it's just not it's, humid. Your humidity is so uh, worse. I might move here. Yeah. yeah. Depends. But we're about to go camping. This is Lonnie. Um, tell them about your channel. What's the channel called? My name is uh, Lonnie Nunes. My channel is Lonnie's RC and Outdoor. I pretty much do everything. I mean, that's why my, I'm Mr. Random. So you'll see my videos. Uh, you'll never know what I'm going to post next. So uh, that's, I mean, that's all I have for right now. Later on. Yep, there's a lot of RCs, a lot of RCs. I so do, I I do RCs. I do uh, camping. I do repairs, welding. That's why I put it uh, outdoors, because everything I do is mainly outdoors. Yep, you never know. You never know what's going to break down he has to fix. I watch a lot of your Facebook posts and right. stuff too. So, okay, guys, I'm looking at descriptions for that, but um, I think I think I just used to call you Noons. It's, it, it's, it's the same thing. You're you're actually pronouncing it in the Portuguese way. Oh, so I'm like yeah. Portuguese. Okay, so I'm Nunes, like that's... Noons is how it's supposed to be pronounced. It's a silent. Nunes is how we pronounce it, basically. In America. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Well. I'm more proper than for once. Yeah, so you would be, you would be doing proper Portuguese okay. by saying noons. All right, well, I might look Portuguese next to you. There you go. We're brothers a little bit, noons. 
Okay. Well, um, I did talk to I, I I didn't want to shush him in the truck, but I said, hey, I don't want to talk about it because I'll talk about it again on camera. So I like to not to rehearse stuff and not to say things twice and and rehash it like we already talked about it. So I like to uh, I was going to tell you about my trip. Mm -hmm. Everything it it was okay. It was like not too much hiccups right now I can think of, but um, I got to the airport about three o'clock and, and I didn't want to talk and everybody was trying to sleep in the airport so I didn't uh, I didn't do too much video there uh, I might got some b-roll uh, but then um, I got on the plane and I I don't mind having a layover somewhere but only 45 minutes I only had I had a 17 minute walk and it was boarding in 32 minutes and we were still taxiing to get off the plane so uh, I've uh, I made it a right when the uh, they said group five was up there, right when I was walking up, I was group six, and I got right in the spot, and it worked out perfect because I didn't make a wrong turn. And if you know me, I usually do. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, the uh, got on that plane. Um, I watched a movie called uh, Battle of Los Angeles, and I'm coming to California. You ever watch that movie? No. It was about aliens and stuff. I actually, I'm going to give that about a nine, nine wigwams out of ten. Movie. Well, I might have to watch that. It's a pretty good, but I was coming to Los Angeles, to, you know, to California. I was like, oh, it's not a good movie to watch with aliens and over here. But um, it was actually a good movie. And then guess what movie I started watching? It's like a big thing because the, the name of it, Cocaine Bear. Unbelievable. <laughs> you got a dusty beaver here, Ranger. Yeah, well, I'm working on that. Oh, I've seen that. You seen it? I've seen I, don't, don't, don't. The I didn't movie. watch the whole movie. Okay, I was gonna say, who the shit? But uh, I have watched the whole. I just started watching it, and uh, and as we're talking, I guess I probably already put the little clips in, but I'm not gonna say it now. The clips, uh, but I say that's what she said a lot, and I told them you have you know three dollars, so I'm not wanna. Uh, yeah. I don't wanna say that, you know, be disrespectful. Right. So I might be doing this a lot, my eyebrows. I'm, I'm trying to be respectful, uh, but in real life, I say it all the time, and, 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 and like I said, I, I do curse, and I just try not to do on here. Uh, but what, what do we have planned for the four videos after this one? Because this is the introduction. We might go over to stuff maybe later on, like what we might be bringing or something, uh, but where are we going? Where we are going, we'll be leaving tomorrow, Okay. and we'll be heading over to Pismo Beach, California. But we're staying in Oceano, California, which is, it's in Pismo. It's just, they break it down. It's like, you know how you live in... Suburbs. Yeah, right. So we're staying in Oceano campgrounds. The reason why I chose the Oceano over Pismo campgrounds is because it's more secluded. Okay. So we have, you have a, a, you're away from traffic. When you're in the Pismo campground, there's a lot of traffic, a lot of noise, a lot of city noise. When you get out to the country part, it's okay. a more when you're camping, I like to be quiet. It's quiet. So if you, if you want to make a film or you want a video or you want to do anything, you don't have to hear that. all the cars. Appreciate that. And usually regular camping for me is that way. Mm -hmm. But the other camping would be the Walmart camping would be probably the other way we're hearing all the, the, the industrial. Oh, it's yeah. It's not Walmart camping, but just the, the, the all background. Oh, the Home Depot camping. Yeah, Home Depot. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, and, and, and the people that you people... What do you mean, you people? That are saying, I wish I knew you was here. Uh, Lonnie in the noons, I asked them first. I said, hey, is it okay if uh, maybe some people that follow the channel come out and eat with us or sit and talk? And they said, it's perfectly fine. So I opened it up to everyone that would like to come. And I put it on my website, um, DougArfieldsStore.com, or you can go to OutdoorsUnsupervisedStore.com and just click Events tab, and uh, it shows the address. I've been staying on lives for two months, so uh, I'm not sure, uh, but you might want to put a reminder on your phone once a week to check that website, because I update it like two or three times a week when I do videos. If you see a video coming out and, and try to click the link, it's, oh, the link's not working. The date and time, say it's the uh, 3rd of August, and it's the 2nd, but you try to click that link, it's not going to work until the 3rd of August at that time, because it's scheduled. So, and other than when we get there, I have some things planned out. Like I got, I 
I pack some fishing poles, of course. You okay. know, outdoors. You know, fishing. You get manly about it. You want to race and see who catches the most fish. Exactly. If you don't eat, if you don't catch, you ain't eating. So we got some fishing. We'll put in the in the in the agenda, and we got some. Uh, I, I, of course, I, I heard you talking about a metal detector. Oh. So I, I got one of those. Okay. Got a metal detector. I'm not gonna say we're gonna find anything because I ain't ever done it. Well, if I lose the earring, <laughs> if I lose the earring, I'll try to find it. Yeah, there we go. And we'll go down to the beach and uh, probably throw some filming of some RC cars. Okay. And I'll let the people uh, see uh, uh, RC car. I really haven't put on too many videos, but you guys will be seeing that one at the beach. Okay. It's a surprise because uh, I know he has. I know Brandon hasn't seen it. Because your wife don't know you bought it, or oh, it might be one of those two. Oh. <laughs> That's just a secret. So it's on camera, he can't get uh, uh, kilt on yeah. camera. K-I-L-T. Okay, well, um, she might not be a happy camper, no pun intended, if you bring something like that out there. Right. You gotta buy her something too then, probably. Oh, well, she always yeah. gets stuff. Yeah? I okay. ordered her some purses. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, see, that's probably why, because you bought it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's got it all planned out. That's why he's been married for a yeah, while. Yeah, we'll be doing some... Uh, uh, I guess some reviews because I bought that new cot for you to review. Okay, we can do Coleman. that. And I have the Sofren IF23 um, light to review as well. So we're going to get that going. Um, other than that, I think the airport deal, nothing else was, uh, there's no really big hiccup at all. I didn't have any problems at the Besides airport. Besides them putting that, uh, that uh, they put fat on your luggage. Yeah, they put fat on there. It says FAT. <laughs> we should have showed them. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. They. Uh, no. We'll get it. I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys later. <laughs> well, you know what? If you buy a piece of merchandise, one lucky winner will win that, okay? I will give you the, the plane ticket stub and the, it's a Fresno Airport Terminal or yeah. FAT. Or, F-A-T. Yeah, F-A-T. So it's on there. Um, I think I had some other stuff maybe to talk about. That's on my phone. It's being helped the, the <laughs> well and the done. drive we could talk about the drive a drive from my house Visalia California to Pismo area is about two hours roughly it's about an uh, hour and 40 minute drive okay but it's a nice scenery so uh, Brandon gets to see a lot of stuff roll. you get to be roll. see uh, actual California and not the Hollywood California yes it's not all surfers dude it's no not all surfers and stuff most of us are back where I'm at in the in the Central Valley are a lot of uh country boys yeah like when you're in alaska and people think snow everywhere igloos they have actually cities with no snow too not everybody's so, an eskimo in alaska yeah <laughs> but that's just what what the tv what with those people uh try to portray certain places so california usually usually the surfers sharks um and what else uh, movie stars movie stars <laughs> yes but uh but we, we got movie stars right here. Yeah, so. don't you know Arnold Schwarzenegger here? Yeah. No. <laughs> well, hmm. other than that, guys, I think we're gonna eat and maybe visit a burrito place later on, maybe for an extra, uh, extra video on the other channel. So on the garbage disposal channel, you're gonna get three food challenges. You're gonna get uh, maybe the well two at least. Because I think we're going to go to Sylvester's Burgers yes. and Cool Cats Cafe. That's two challenges. Uh, that's August 2nd, August 3rd, and uh, today, baby. So, you got to eat. You got to eat. And you might as well film it. Might as well. She said. That's what she said. Oh, I was supposed to say it. I'm supposed to do that. I could do it. <laughs> uh, I was going to say it again. <laughs> I'm going to do this whole, the whole time. Okay. All right. Well, guys, uh, we're going to wrap this up, and I will talk to you probably when uh, maybe we can look at some camping equipment later uh, and uh, at the place where we're going to eat at, and then you can check that video out on the other channel. So we will, uh, we'll talk to you in a little bit. See ya. It's, it's done. I'm not even going to put this on. I'm just going to sit here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now we can turn Ooh, what's wrong with Hey folks, I am um, I'm gonna wrap this video up, but we're out here packing. Um, I didn't really do any of that. Um, I'm just reaping the result rewards by looking to see he packs like me. That's what she said. Um, I do like to uh, live in comfort, and I see that he does too. Um, we got a lot of stuff planned, and he has surprises uh, that we're gonna have to see on the videos.
But we're about to go eat. You know, I got to keep my figure, um, all this muscle. So we're going to go to, what is it called? Ha Javi's? Javi's Taco Shack. Javi's Taco Shack. And uh, they got a three-pound burrito. Um, and uh, I think they stopped doing the free if you eat it in a certain time. I think it's pay to play. But uh, they said some good food, so we're going to try that out. So please check my other channel out. There you go. Yes, it's about 100 degrees out here, but you cannot tell. You cannot tell. And they're not pierced, folks. It's, my headlights are always on, just like a new car. Uh, but not a new car. <laughs> so uh, with that said, guys, I want to appreciate you watching this video of me arriving here in California and meeting the noons. Um, and we're going to have some fun, guys. So hopefully you can tag along and uh, see uh, what is going on. i got some reviews to do as well. So please, please, please tune in to the videos that are in the descriptions. If you miss them, all of the, if I go camping on a four-day camp trip or a 10-day bike ride, all of them videos will be in the descriptions. If you miss one, if you want to see from the first to the be to beginning to the end, then you can watch them in sequence. So uh, again, uh, please like the video. Um, if you don't like it, something's wrong with you. Um, if you like the video, you might get two years good luck. Um, if you subscribe you might get five years that's seven already and if you want 20 years good luck add 20 years to it by just sharing the video you get 27 years good luck right there i heard it helps on facebook if you do that if you share if you like the video you get you get so many years good luck it's a lie probably but if you do you're welcome so okay all right you want to say something oh whoa whoa look at that look at there He's got some Crocs and Mario. Oh yeah, they're a limited edition bling. He knows, he knows, look at that. I got my old ones on too. Yeah, you got the old ones on. This Croc Nation over here. Crocs and socks, Crocs and socks. Okay, all right, gotta go. Talk to you later. Go to post stop recording. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we are on our way to Pismo Beach, Oceano Campgrounds. Um, we're all packed and ready to go, and we will talk to you a little bit more and get this party started. Go post stop recording.
Yeah, we got Lonnie here. We're um, we we arrived early, so we found uh, the beach here to uh, kind of test the. Uh, when we do this, we, we look like we kind of know what we're doing. Find anything yet? Yeah. I lost some calories. Yeah, calories. <laughs> Walking. Okay, we got some partiers here that lost clothes and plenty of sand. I took my socks off uh, due to the sand. Let me get let me get this uh, this uh, seagull here, and uh, we're gonna head back to the campsite. Uh, we we didn't get on video. But we got stopped and said we cannot come into the camp area early. We have to wait another hour. So that was that. Hey, hey, Steve, Steve, what are you doing? What are you doing, Steve the Seagull? Come back here. Come here. I need to talk to you. What do you think about the gas prices? What do you think about the gas prices? Okay. That's why you fly and you don't drive. Um, as we use the restroom at this park and distribute some business cards in there, um, I was coming here minding my own business and I see one of these ducks. I guess that they put it on somebody's Jeep or something. But if you get any merchandise, you might be a lucky winner of a duck. I don't know, but made sense to me. So what are we doing now? We're chilling out here chilling for a little bit and guess what these are actually like this for a reason now but they're always like that but it's 60 degrees now here yeah. good Moves. Moves. yeah 100 <laughs> to 60 not not the opposite way around like drake that's zero to 100 i heard oh look at this don't forget sporting you know you know where to purchase this right yeah look in the link below the you know, I always say DougGarbageDisposalStore.com, but he was like, why is your, why is it Doug? Because I have another YouTube channel. But now you can go to OutdoorsUnsupervisedStore.com. If you just leave the store off, it goes to YouTube. It's OutdoorsUnsupervised.com and garbage disposal, DougGarbageDisposal.com. But if you put the store in there, it goes to the website. Okay, let me shut up. We're going to chillax here for a second, and then um, we're going to head to the campground, get everything set up, and talk to you one more time then until we get something to eat. And uh, I don't know yet. I'm just thinking ahead. That's what's... Go, get, go post, stop recording. <laughs> I heard it. Go post, stop recording. Inside the big gate. No, this one's broken. And this one? I need to Speaking of weather, uh, you can tell it is uh, kind of chilly out here. Uh, we have we have some um, sweaters. You're sporting a bear. Is that a bear? Yeah. This is a tutu. Got to have a tutu. Don't look like you do a lot of dancing, but <laughs> okay. What we got over here? Was it say on the back of your shirt? Easter eggs hunt fun. All right, you're a trout. You're a, you're you're a good spotter of Easter eggs. I see. And this is this another Easter egg one? Yeah. Easter. Okay. All right, you're looking for eggs. Is that what you're doing? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, time to get unloaded and I'll be back with you. Got the doggies in the corral, even the vicious one over here. And, uh, and we're gonna get set up. So I'll get back with you in a little bit. Uh, who doesn't take luggage camping? I look like a professional camper. Not really, look like um, I'm from New York City. But let's get this going, help them out so I don't look like an a-hole. <clears throat> GoPro stop recording. Hey, we're all set up, folks. Um, we got the uh, tent over there. Um, I'm set up in that blue tent. I'll put it on the screen now. Uh, unzip it, and I have a nice Coleman cot. And uh, everything already laid out for me, and he let me borrow that jacket that's hanging up uh, because I forgot my jacket. How many person tent is that? That's a 12. That's a 12 person tent. Um, has the rain fly on it and it's not going to rain but it kind of keeps the heat in a little bit it's going to be what tonight around 50 degrees tonight so about 800 celsius and uh speaking of celsius he, he got me this cup and 
it doesn't have Fahrenheit on it, but right now it's saying it's 50, oh, 60, 68 Celsius. 68 Celsius. So that's about 3,000 degree Fahrenheit. So you got to watch it. And the strainer on there works really well. So if you do get coffee grounds in there, you can strain it, strain it out, which I really appreciated them for, for getting me this. Uh, will come in handy. Handy. Very handy. And you're not camping unless you bring your dog a tent. Yeah, they got a dog tent there. <laughs> um, I think I got a video of that a little while ago. Let me put that in now. But they are relaxing um, in the corral. Uh, that is really easy to set up. Uh, what do we have going on tonight? We did a little seizure. Um, he actually helped with the camera work. Camera work and uh, we, uh, we got a, a organic little Caesar video that I just walked in and we had to eat. So I got a video for you guys on the other channel. So just look in descriptions. Everything on this trip that we're doing is going to be in the description. So if you want to see every detailed thing, even from the other channel, I'll put them in descriptions. If it doesn't work, just hold your horses. The video will work when the video goes out on the other channel. It might be out a little bit later. So just uh, check on that at a later date if it does not work. Uh, man, you got something planned tonight to cook? Do you call it something or? Uh, a one pot and, and just whatever you got, put it in there. Like stone soup. I don't know if you want to show them the... the is it right? Is it kind of not probably not yet? Probably Maybe not. when we eat. I'll show you. I don't want to shake. I don't want to show you my meat until I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I got to tell you, when it gets cold, it shrinks up a little bit. So I don't want to, I don't want you to detour anybody. Uh, but uh, it is pretty massive. Uh, nothing other, else really. Other than that, the first day, so we're settling in. First day, the sun's out a little bit. It's a, it's a, it's a balmy 70 degrees, maybe. I say probably about 63. 63, 65. yeah. It's, it's not. It warmed up. Probably the hottest maybe got around here was 70, yeah. but it's, it might not even reach that. When we got here, it was 53. 53, 54, 55. There is mosquitoes still, but they'll be leaving when it gets colder. Oh yeah, so that's gonna be lovely tonight. Uh, it's gonna be real nice and warm, good sleeping weather. Uh, and we're just watching other people set up now. We was gonna help the people acro across the way, but they, they got it, they got it. They look like beginners, They're maybe beginners, we're judging. Yeah. But everybody does it and they say they don't. It's camping rule. When you can and you can help out when you can. Yeah, help out when you're, you're you you don't have to help. There's a bird right here bothering me. Yeah, a little finch tearing that walnut away because they got a twisted walnut tree, a twisted oak, I think it's called. Yeah, very rare. Um, I'll put the picture in now. Uh, very majestically creepy, like a like a movie. Uh, yeah. Like Sleepy I, Hollow movie. Yes, I, th I <laughs> thought they was all extinct, but this tree is maybe the last of the existing uh, twisted oaks. Well, there's really nothing else going on. This is a relaxing day. I think after this, you're going to get some other action, maybe uh, metal detecting at the beach because um, he kind of perfected it today. Oh, yeah. For but my ring said they were iron and five cents. On the on the on the thing it says iron five cents, P mode. Maybe maybe they two they, cents. They didn't sell you real gold. Yeah, maybe that's what <laughs> I was trying to say. Yeah, hey, I thought it was. And now I don't you know? So I don't know. Or maybe we just don't know how but, to use it. But there's not a gold button on there. It's not <laughs> yeah. gold. It says iron, but uh, it's gold iron. For all the metal detector professionals they'll tell us yeah let us know let us know please in comments let us know that we're doing something wrong and what are we doing wrong but uh we'll probably get to that de detailed situation when we get out there and really get into showing you the calibrations of the, the the details of the iron five cents two cents nickel as a nickel oh yeah nickel by the time we're done we're gonna, we're gonna find everything yeah everything out there lost but uh okay well we're gonna get to cook it later you're gonna see us cooking this one pot meal um and i'm gonna be uh the sous chef yes sous chef we got some fresh veggies Sioxy. is that how you spell it Sioxy chef 
It's spelled Suix. You know that? S O U X E or something? Yeah, something like Soix. that. Soix. Soix. Okay. Well, that was a fun fact because I didn't even know that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell it. So, that's like most words. Okay, well, I really have anything else to add unless you wanted to say anything. I, I got nothing right. We're just relaxing, yeah. enjoying the weather. What do you want us to say? You want to make stuff up? Yeah. Yeah. We'll tell you, stories, you, man. You tell a creepy stories about a fire? They No, they need to let us know what we need to say. Yeah, they probably do. The comment, they hey, do. you <laughs> need to do this while you can't. You look like this. Oh, yeah, we got our captain's chairs. Oh, yeah, these chairs are freaking amazing. Look at this. This is like a, I can have company. Yeah. Just relaxing. Yeah, they got table stands over here and uh, nice Coleman. You see the Coleman coffee over there. I put that video in right now. Uh, I think I might be uh, adding that to one of my, uh, to my arsenal of camping. Maybe when I live in the woods. And for all the ones that we invited, don't say it, we wish you said something. They're going to. We did. They're going to. I wish I knew you was here for two months, I think. Two months, people, <laughs> at least two months. So just check the events tab at either or outdoors on supervisedstore.com or doggarbagedisposalstore.com and check the events tab because I'm going all around the United States now because I don't have a house. Uh, I'm airplaneless uh, and uh, I'm just gonna be traveling around the United States. So see where I'm gonna be at next and wherever you see it at, if it shows a month in advance, Please don't email me till about a week out so I can tell you exactly what maybe challenges or what hikes and stuff that I'm doing. And maybe I might come to a city near you because guess where I ended up at? California. Yeah. V Visalia. Visalia, California. Visalia. And his arms were sure yeah. tired when he flew in. Yeah, very tired. Boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> That's all I got. That's it. Go, go. You didn't bring your... Yeah, the clapper. Oh, you know what? Oh, that, that, that. Okay. <laughs> About to go fishing, I think. Back here in these old waters? Oh, yeah. All right. Um, I'm not going to try to catch too many fish because we're already going to cook tonight, so uh, I might throw them back without him watching. Well, we've seen that, you know, that... I heard there's a great white back there right here <laughs> but uh but i did hear that ducks are racist yes why is that because they only like crackers <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> but uh <clears throat> okay enough of that meet us over there by the water now <laughs> go post stop recording Change of plans, folks. That's life. Uh, we are not going fishing today. Um, I think they might be asleep by the time we go out there, but we are getting prepped for tomorrow. We have all the poles prepped to go. Uh, we're going to start cooking. Uh, we did eat a little bit earlier, but we've been working up an appetite. Uh, we're not going to do any racing here and, and eating, uh, but we are. I'm going to be chopping up the goodies, and I'll, I'll be back kind of to tell you what's happening i had to pick uh, at least one ingredient that i really love uh, we'll, we'll show you that in a minute and uh, we will get to cooking here i'm i'm working the knife that knife there and you know how i do it there you go okay don't do that at home Thank <laughs> you. 
Up there, okay. Hold on. Okay. bam.
Okay, folks, as you see, we got the uh, fire started. The mosquitoes are out and about, uh, but uh, we garnished this with the carrots, so it's a nice crunch. Yes. A nice crunch with, uh, with the munch. Brandon's ideal. Good ideal. I like them. Um, I like different textures. I just like sweet and savory and uh, just not all mush. Like a, all one texture. It's really good. Came out pretty good. I like that dirty rice mixture that's in there. If you guys go camping, if you guys go camping, let us know what kind of one pot stuff you like to make because I like one pot stuff. It's less stuff to, to it's clean less up. Pots. <laughs> yeah, less pots. Duh. So, fire's going really good. Yes, we have a fire in the summer. In California. <laughs> yes, in California, folks. Freaking fire. You wouldn't even think that in, in the middle of summer. But um, I am going to be doing a review later, as I said, of the, the Sofren IFR, IF23. And I think there's a brand new model coming out that's not even out that I'm going to be reviewing um, later, but we'll see about that one. What we got for tomorrow? Challenge, challenge, market, farmer's market, and some fish. Fishing, okay, we're gonna do some fishing. Maybe metal detection while we're out there, I don't know. That might be another video, but I'm trying to do a little bit of different stuff every day for you guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and get that camera away from that fire before it gets too hot. But we do, uh, I do thank them for um, hosting this. This is a uh, very relaxing in the times that's going on with me. If you didn't know, I am actually moving. Um, everything's okay. You got to watch the live that I did. Uh, but uh, I'm just moving um, and uh, doing a lot of exciting videos for you guys. Like I'm in California now, folks. So I'm traveling around the U.S. I might be near you. Just check the website out at the events tab and uh, see if I'm going coming towards you. And if I am, email me and maybe we can do something. Okay, let me go. I smell something burning. Hope it ain't my fire, my camera, or the candle. I think it's the candle. Hopefully. Or my face. That's good. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm about to go to bed, but I do want to uh, bring up what I told you I was going to um, do today or well, tonight is the IF23 from Sofren. Um, this has a magnet, a really strong magnet on the very bottom. Um, you can put it on any kind of metal and still work. You can have it upside down like that. It does have a clip to it, a pretty strong clip. It's really durable. This is pretty heavy, folks. I'm not sure the weight on it right now, uh, but I'll put it up in the corner of the screen um, when I weigh it when I go home. But now you know what the weight of it is. Um, it has a lantern right here that has high, low, the SOS flash. It can change colors from all the way to yellow, to green, to purple, to blue. Um, has a SOS light up here. Um, it has a low level. It has a medium and a high. Uh, I do, I did an extensive search on here. Um, a research, not search, but I did extensive research on here. I wanted to uh, get a detailed review that just using it one time saying, oh, this light's pretty bright, but it has the, the regular light and you hold it down, it does medium, high, low, medium, high. Um, And you can hold it down, and uh, I think it's an SOS, but there we go. Then you hold it three times. You do the three times, you get the lantern. But if you hold that down, the lantern changes low, medium, high, um, really high in the SOS. Okay, we got a green light. Hold it down and change it to any color you want, and then just let go of it when you get to the right, the uh, 
the um, the right color that you like. Um, I want to get to the numbers on this real quick, guys. I'm going to tell you what. I know you saw the pizza oven review, and I have uh, low hopes for that one that I didn't think it was going to be that good, and that was a real good one. This one here, the same thing. I was thinking uh, it was going to be okay flashlight. It actually turned out to be a lot better than I thought. That's what, that's what she said. Um, but I have uh, the research down here in this file here um, on low on low setting on this light here up top um, 52 hours straight 52 hours straight non-stop um, I didn't test the medium out um, I did test it on on high um, six and a half hours on high really bright light no no um, it did get warm um, and then it got so warm um, it was almost too bearable to hold it was really hot um, I would say that is a good that is good for the winter time um, the winter time if you, your hands are about to freeze off you put this on high that for six and a half hours you have some super warm hands so I think that would be a lifesaver if you did actually uh, need that um, but the only downfall I see so far on this one is the high that it gets really hot and if you're in the summertime or whatever you don't need the heat like that um, it probably would be kind of unbearable to, to hold. Um, it says really warm after one minute, really hot after 30 minutes. Um, but I did put doubles as a hand warmer for winter. So you got to think positive about that one. The lantern. The lantern I did on low was 49 and a half hours on low. Um, full charge, 2.7 hours. So under three hours, this goes to a full charge. Um, this actually charges your phone too. It has a USB type C cable on the side. I plug my phone to it. In one hour, it charged my phone my phone 40% in one hour. So this, and it could probably charge it all the way up, but I just tried one hour just to see, but this charged it up in 40%. Uh, so that is definitely good in life-threatening situations as well, if you need that. Um, I think that is um, that all. I'm wrapping it up. But they are, um, Sofren is actually sending me a new, a very new version flashlight that's not even out yet. They're going to send me one. Um, and when, when they told me, am I interested in the a new light when I didn't even do this review yet, I said, well, this review is coming out because of the extensive search, uh, research I was doing. I said, please, because that this is a good, this is a good light. I'm telling you now. Um, I really enjoy this light. So this is something I would definitely recommend. One downfall that I do see on this light, if, you, if you're packing in your luggage, this button is pretty easy to, to just press. And it can be left on for a long time. Uh, but uh, it has a full charge and it shows you by the, by the green light right there. I'm not sure if you can see it on this camera. But there's a green light in the middle of the button. Well, that's just as soon as it comes on, you see the green light, and then the green light goes off. But it's just showing you it has a full charge. Uh, but it does blink red for about an hour or two. It's showing you, hey, the battery's about to die. Um, but the only downfall I see, it does get really hot on high, but it still lasts six and a half hours. Um, if you do, um, if you do put this. Uh, on the lantern mode, like I said, you can hold it down to do any kind of different color lights. I'm not even sure if this picks up all the different color lights because I do have my, my light shining. So if you are using this, I would say use this clip on the outside to clip on your belt loop. So this button is, is facing out. Uh, but all in all, out of 100... Um, I'm just going to try to give you a rating of what I think uh, what this worth is um, You can look on their site and I'll, I'll put it in the descriptions um, But out of a hundred I'm thinking 95 out of a hundred. This is a really good light um, Very very well made. Uh, it's not cheap uh, Very well made and it has an impact resistance as well if you drop it I think this uh, the bulb that they have in here is a lifetime bulb that it will never go out uh, So you don't have to worry about that as well um, but with that said, guys, I am going to have to go to bed because uh, the Noons family is going to wake up in the morning and we're going to um, probably not eat a lot of breakfast because we have a challenge to do. 
Uh, but I do want to tell you this, guys. Lonnie is a really good guy. I wouldn't come all the way to California and fly here to meet him um, if I didn't believe that. Um, I talked to him on the phone for a long time. Um, I, I always text him and message him um, and had interactions with him with his channel. Please look in descriptions. Um, it's Lonnie's RC and Outdoors. Um, Please subscribe to his channel if you like his channel. If you like random stuff, just uh, watching his videos. He does a lot of RCs. Um, he's a handyman that has some strong morals, and that's why I took a liking to him because I, I did construction for 25 years, and he does construction. Uh, really good family man, um, and I see that in his videos. He does a lot of camping with uh, with his daughters and his wife. Um, does a lot of other stuff. There's RCs with them. Uh, one of his daughters does have a YouTube channel as well. So please, please, please um, check his channel out. If you don't like the videos, you don't have to subscribe. But um, if you do, please do and tell him, hey, I came here from the, the Outdoors Unsupervised channel and uh, just give him, give him a like. Uh, but with that said, guys, I'm getting out of here. I gotta go to bed after I download this footage into my computer and then um, get to sleep and I will see you in the morning. So day two, see you in two and two. And two and two, we'll right back up. The bird up there woke me up. It's been quiet now, but it's pretty damn loud. Class 53. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get uh, out here, get the coffee going, and um, I will talk to you in a little bit when Lonnie wakes up. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got Lonnie up. We got the coffee made. Um, and I told them already um, that uh, I slept pretty good. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, I think I just did a, a quick GoPro thing in the dark just to, so I can hear my groggy voice. You know, make it real life situations that I didn't sleep at a hotel and drive out here, you know, like some, some YouTubers might do. Uh, but this is real life situations, and you, did you sleep good or like usual? Or I slept better than usual. Usually, when I'm at home, I don't. Maybe an hour and a half, two hours a day. A lot of people don't believe it. But when your mind is constantly, Brandon knows exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, ADHD. When your mind just runs and runs and runs, it doesn't matter what you do. Your body don't want to go to sleep. But here, you can relax a little bit more than when you're at home because you know you don't have to get up and go do nothing except for camp. Huh? <laughs> all you gotta do is get this video going all the time. He's probably not used to that. He does use, uh, and I told him last night, um, Lonnie's RC and outdoors. Um, and I wanted to talk about that today a little bit. Uh, I know um, we didn't really mention it much. Um, he's not a type of guy that wants to just boast 
on, on my videos about you know try to push his channel on my like some people don't mind at all like Ooh. but um, he is not that kind of guy but I do want to uh, push his channel out there um, and uh, help him out because I told him as you family orientated and I always think about my daughter I wish I had uh, spent a lot of time with her, but she was a teenager, and then she got to where she we went with her friends a lot. So, but I do see that's how I was gravitated towards you because I saw that you was with your daughters, uh, doing camping and, and one pot meals and, and 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 having a family time, and I really, uh, I really really gravitated toward that. And and I saw he did RC cars. Um, what is there? It and uh, it says RC and outdoors. What 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 is the name? Why did you do the name for your channel, and what it's about? Well, I chose the name, of course, my first name, Lonnie, so they know who I am. Then the RC is my passion. Outdoors is where I love to be. And you, there is RC cars, newer cars, that are indoor cars. I don't own them, but all my stuff is generated for outside outdoor. So I figure I can mix the channels, outdoors, camping. And I can bring in RC cars and mix it to where I can show you camping RC. Or, and maybe yeah. in one camping, maybe RC while camping, what? you might have a surprise, folks. So yeah, there, there there's going to be some RCs. But uh, but he did like my channel. Like you never know what you're going to see when you're when you turn the camera on. It's like oh. On Tuesdays, we're doing RCs. On Wednesdays, we're doing camp outs. On you know, it's not like there's just uh, whatever he he sees. If it's funny, you know, you right. got you got that out there. If it's outdoors, it's funny, and he sees it. He he posts it. He does. A, you do a lot of reels I on do, Facebook. I do Facebook reels, and I and when I do repairs, I do a lot of different repairs, and sometimes I always throw them in there as a little clip. Repairs on RCs, like or our, they don't—they do probably don't know your your I construction do guy. RC repairs, I weld. Okay. Building, uh, I mean, you name Go it. Go karts you got at home. That's the, the name, Mr. Random. It was actually a person that follows me on Facebook. They say, "Hey, Mr. Random," and I was like, "It stuck." There you go. Oh, I just chose I liked it. it. <laughs> but yeah, he, he actually does a lot of. Uh, Works for himself. He reminds me of myself at times because I did construction for 25 years, and I worked for myself. I didn't really work for a certain person, but uh, but you get to meet these people that are actually really nice. And if you're if if you work hard, they see you work hard, and they see that you're an honest guy. You kind of work for that person a lot. So you don't work for them, but you do a lot of work for them. And I I did that in a couple couple in St. Louis, and um, and and how long have you been doing the construction? Construction side and like repairs, probably at least about 30 years. And that's just maintenance and repair because it started actually, it started out not by choice. I was a family, my, my, my dad, my grandpa, they would uh, do the same stuff that I, that I do now, but they would bring me in there. And not pay me. They said your payment is knowledge. You get to live. <laughs> you get to live with us. Yeah. Uh, so I would basically work for my dad. My dad's the one who taught me to weld. I'm not saying I'm a professional welder, but I can make metal stick. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, that's based. So I just and then I I have worked corporate jobs like I've worked for Walmart for 13 years and and the automotive stuff and everything here and there but mainly my goal too was I didn't want a boss no so I pushed myself away from that I think I was telling you about that because what Walmart forced me out is after they told me uh, it's, you don't need to go watch your wife you know have a birth with your child because uh, you gotta work. Important. work's <laughs> more important who cares you have another baby I'm well, not, off day, off day, baby. And I'm not <laughs> knocking Walmart or nothing like that, but anytime they tell you that your family is less important than their store, it's time to go. Yep, gotta go. See ya. And but <laughs> never look back. Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, you never know. <clears throat> if stuff didn't happen to me, um, actually, if stuff didn't happen at Walmart, because I work for 
the Jishaloop side when they took over the mm. TLE and it was a big mess, but I think Walmart took it back over. But Walmart actually, I got into it with Walmart employees when I was at, at Jishaloop and then actually I got let go. Then I went back into construction again and then I got back into professional eating, so this is where I'm at. Um, but you never know in life what happens. Uh, some people get too comfortable with they don't want to try anything. But, oh, I already got a job. I'm not going to go anywhere. I always tell people you never know. If you get a job, you never know. You might get a better job somewhere. So you're always looking. Like, always look for something in life better. Not just jobs, but anything, you know. And don't just get stagnant. And, like, get comfortable in life. But you just stick to the same old thing. Like Groundhog's Day. You do the same thing every day. You know, I don't want to do that. So it's going to be random here, you know, just like on oh, my channel, it usually is anyway, but but I'm getting to go all the way across the country and go meet you guys maybe and do a lot of stuff. So I'm here meeting the Noons and then maybe I might meet um, the Smiths and Wallaces or Jeffersons, I don't know, but uh, who knows. But we're going to get going today. We're going to get stuff around here um, uh, going before we head out to do a food challenge at Sylvester's. Uh, burgers. I'm hiding in the descriptions. Um, and if it's not out yet, if the link don't work, please wait. And if you want to be antsy and see when the video's coming out, go to my thegarbagedisposalstore.com or outdoorsunsupervisedstore.com and click events and see when that video's coming out. Because that date and time, that link will work at that date and time. Um, we're going to try to go. Should we go fishing first and then farmers market? Because if we catch a lot of fish, we can figure out what we might use at the market. Or should we go? Makes a good point. You know, or should we just be, you know what? I know I'm catching a lot of fish. I'm going to buy this stuff for fish. And if we don't catch fish, we have to make something with that. You know, they, you know? we don't want to empty the ocean. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I'm trying to save horrible. some for other people. Yeah. <laughs> might throw them back off camera. I might catch them off camera, you know. So, uh, but we'll, we'll see. And I guess we could do a catch, clean, cook type thing today if we do yeah. do that. So. Um, we'll try not to make this this whole because this whole video is probably going to be a two or three hour video. I know we're going to get people in the comments saying the video's too long. I'm used to ten minute, uh, no information in my videos. So, well, if you want extra information, <laughs> you can always go to Facebooks. Yeah. And and, and tune in. Yeah. Or, uh, Facebook and, and and go to his channel and get some information from there. And if you want shorter videos to the point, bam, I'm telling you now. You don't have to watch the three-hour video. Um, so, okay, well, we're going to get going. And um, I'm not sure about metal detecting anything else. It might be tomorrow, maybe today. Who knows? We don't know, okay? So, uh, but we do know we got to go. So we'll see you in a bit in the next clip. Um, get stuff. Uh, are you eating breakfast? Eh, maybe. We're doing a challenge. I might not eat breakfast. So I think I'm saving it for that burger. Yeah. Well, cool. okay. <laughs> See ya. See you in a little bit. We're here at Sylvester's Burgers. Um, we're going to be doing a uh, challenge here. So if you want to watch the uh, video, it is in descriptions. Uh, but Lonnie has never done a challenge before, I believe. And this is his first challenge. Um, big, hot, and juicy. Uh, that is just the slogan. Um, the place is called Sylvester's Burgers. Uh, this one's called the Big One Challenge. Uh, it's a five pound total weight burger um, and you have uh, 30 minutes to eat it and it's free. If not, then you owe them your pride and some money, like 50 bucks. Uh, but this is uh, my friend Freak Eating here, Natter. And these are the people that actually uh, beat the challenge. Uh, some did it in 13 minutes. The time here I think is 11 minutes for the fastest, so we're going to try to do that. There's a little discrepancy on size, that's what she said. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come out that big. And it comes out that big. So that is two different sizes. So we'll see. Most of them look about this size, so most, most look pretty good. But that one there might have been a specialty burger, or he was an a-hole and they made it bigger i don't know okay we're going to get to this challenge and uh we will get back to you when we um get out of here and i kind of i won't ruin the, the surprise you uh, of the, if we won or not you might have to check the video out so see you in a little bit
guys just left the burger challenge um, you can check that video out uh, we are on our way to get some bait what are you getting squid squid and some uh, uh whatever they recommend I don't whatever know. recommend squid and shad yeah. i don't know but they um i don't think they do night crawlers here yeah, we, we do you know you're not the, from here if you ask for night crawlers the, the worms i guess the in the I, he was telling me that guy, the, the one we met there, he said Dang. the worms has come apart too easy or oh. something in the ocean. I don't know. Salt. I'm maybe not no salt, expert. Salt breaks the protein down. <laughs> That's what she said. Okay. Well, we're going to get there and um, we're going to um, catch some fish today, guys. We already caught a full meal, um, but we are greedy. Uh, we are going to be uh, probably cooking something with fish tonight and going to the farmer's market. So I really want to see that as well. So we'll see you in a little. Probably picking up a lot of wind guys but um i'm already going to say if we don't catch any fish because it's probably too windy um, the water is kind of wet but i think it's okay enough for fish i think um, so we're going to catch a tan if we don't catch anything uh the stuff i catch on, on the video i'm not trying to make it look bad i'll probably just throw it back without getting a video of it so i'm just going to say that right now it's a good guy that's what kind of guy i am but i know you probably can't hear me because it's windy i'll talk to you in a minute Bird up there woke me up. It's being quiet now, but it's pretty damn loud. Catch anything yet? No. 53. No. Going to uh what are you looking where are you catching? What kind of fish? Going to get all uh, out here, all get right. the coffee going and what's your favorite I'll, I'll fish? Talk to you a little bit when Lonnie wakes up. Captain D's? Long John. And he's got a rig here up to five. He said you can do this. And these dance in, in the water. They dance. Shimmy. Shimmy shake. And I, is it, what is this? Is this my worm? What is this? I'm just going to watch. I'm going to catch all the fish. Well, we're waiting on bait. So we're going to get a used one. Throw it out there, I guess. Take that one.
folks, we was over there earlier when the wind was blowing so much, uh, it blew my rings off. No, I'll put it in my pocket so I can catch this shark. But um, I think we're gonna have better luck on here because the fish really don't like the wind and the cold breeze. So we moved over to this warmer section here. I think it is gonna be better luck because I hear some seagulls and they're waiting, they're talking to each other and saying, well, I'm gonna, I want some of his fish when he catches it. Uh, but let me uh, reel this in and throw it back out and I think uh, I'm gonna show you a fish here in a second. Be right back with fish in your face. That's what she said. Here's the problem, guys. We got this dull green army looking worm. They don't want that camouflage stuff. Look at this shimmy. Look at the sparkle of this fancy worm here. Yes, metallic, metallic sparkles like a low rider paint job. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna catch them now. And it has some, it's called a yum and it smells delicious. It smells like some good petroleum oil they put on there to, to lure these fish in. But I'm gonna show you what this is all about here in a second. Let's stop talking, let's stop playing games, and let's get serious as a heart attack. Let's not hook myself in the freaking eye with the hook. Don't pull stop recording. Watch me, watch me. That's what she said. Here's how you bait a worm. Guys, if you don't know how to bait a worm, you see this? You see this? Just stick it right in the middle. It's on there. That's all you got to do. We'll stop recording. I'm wiggling my worm down there, folks. I'm, I'm jiggling. I'm dangling down there. But they are just um, not, not woke fish right now um, i'm thinking they don't wake up to four because the bait shop don't here don't open to four so they're probably taking a nap we probably just had a food challenge and they are not hungry <laughs> showing how to catch fish over here you probably can't see it with this camera here 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 it comes Lonnie's over here getting bites he says that's what he says. <laughs> He's got his uh, lucky hat on. His lucky hat, let me see. I sure do uh, believe in that hat. That's why I'm not catching fish or even getting nibbles because I left my hat at home. Oh. <laughs> yep, yeah, and when it happens, I'm gonna be pissed off if that falls in the water. Just like I lost my GoPro 10. So before I get into the woods and live in the woods, I'm probably gonna buy the, the, the newest GoPro out there. Cause if I'm gonna be crazy in the woods. I might as well be crazy in the woods with a good camera um, that is very waterproof and very bear proof. So I'm not catching fish because I'm talking to you. It's your fault. So let me go. I catch this fish for you. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be hungry later. GoPro stop recording. <laughs> no luck guys i'm thinking because it is wednesday the first wednesday of the month and i forgot that fish do not do that it's kind of like lent they do something fish, fishing fishing religion i don't know they but don't worms on yeah on wednesdays they do not eat sparkling blue worms or army green ones only the yellow and the purple so our bad we'll have to go buy some stuff from farmer's market so we will probably see you there unless a fish just jumps on our hook
will stop recording. I'm done. We just got out of the farmer's market, Dale. It's not much of a farmer's market. When I think of a farmer's market, I think of a lot of fruits and vegetables. Yeah. It's mostly soaps and everything else, but they had one guy that had vegetables. Um, one and a half. I left you one to eat cactuses. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and it looks like he might have bought that from somewhere. Not, you know, like you can grow it. Yeah. Like it says Safeway on the tag. Yeah, so he bought it to, to, to go there. Um, so we're going to probably, um, I think we're going to head back, go live for the Garbage Gang slash Wigwams on Facebook, uh, the paid subscribers. If you want to know how to do that, please look in descriptions. Um, and it's only $2.99 a month. Uh, you get a, a live, uh, at least... <laughs> you get at least... You want to get in here? <laughs> at least... Uh, eight lives a month but when i go on trips you usually get about 12 to 16 lives uh for only two dollars 99 cents a month it's not a year's worth uh but uh we are um we are going to head back and i think they're going to go to the store to get stuff to make some tacos uh we do have another piece of big meat at the campsite that we are going to uh to uh to bust open and uh shove on the grill so we're going to do do that and um, probably lay back for the day. Um, tomorrow might be, I'm not gonna really get off in tomorrow. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, but we got other stuff planned tomorrow that is different from stuff today, except we are doing another food challenge right in this vicinity at Cool Cats Cafe. So uh, we're, gonna, um, we're gonna try our luck on that one. Uh, but uh, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Please disperse. Nothing to see here, please. Okay, I'm not breaking the fancy camera out for this cooking tonight. I'm trying to relax a little bit, but we are here um, watching. I'm not they're gonna lie. I'm not even I'm not even um, cutting this. You having a good time? Okay. <laughs> you got all your fingers still? Mm-hmm. Because that is a, an awesome uh, knife and all of them them uh, the saw blades pointing up at you. You're not scared to use that? No. Okay. Well, keep on, you're doing a fine job. And uh, we're gonna have tacos. Is this carnita? 
Carnita, it can be. Yes, yes. We're gonna fry. Um, we're gonna fry that up. That's the pork loin we had last night. We had the steaks. We had the one pot. Now we're gonna use that and make tacos. So um, his wife uh, and his uh, other daughter is getting stuff from Walmart and around Pismo. I'm not sure if they just went there or not, but we're trying to get the Skittles so we can do a review on the other channel. Um, uh, mustard Skittles. You can only find them around August to August the 5th or a little bit later when they all sell out because everybody wants some mustard Skittles for Mustard Day. August the 5th is Mustard Day, but this video's already been out. August 5th has already been here, so this is out after that. But uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing that, if they can find it. If they can, I'll let you know tonight, and you can look on the other channel and uh, check that out. So um, let's just... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm salivating here, even though we had that big burger today. Um, I am ready for some pork tacos. So let's uh, let's get some coffee in us just to chill out until then, and we'll be good to go. Okay, see you in a bit. That Lowry's, Lowry from Bad Boys, La Mike Larry. Mike Lowry. Okay. It was, no way. I felt my blood pressure go up already. Oh no, that has to go through all. If you can feel your blood pressure going up, yeah, you shouldn't be eating. Yeah, you shouldn't be I'm, eating. I'm, I'm, I'm stressed in life. <laughs> Need some pepper. Good, you want more? That's good. Okay, let me put this back in there. Thank you very much. That's about the only pepper I can tolerate anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't need all that. There we go. Might as well get it if you can. Let's see. Can we get in a bowl? Okay, you got some cilantro over there? Yep. You gotta chop that up? Yeah, I'm just picking them. You need Brandon to chop it for you? We got it. Make broccoli. <laughs> Chopping broccoli. Chopping broccoli. That sounded that loud, wasn't it? You needed a chocolate. You need a <laughs> I got it. We should get crispy. Then you got your carnitas. Well, I don't have all the seasonings like I normally do at home. And and coming. Oh, gotta have cumin, man. Look at this. You know what goes the best with this? Guacamole. You tell me that now. Huh? You tell me that now. You didn't bring the. Okay. Fill these up. Okay. Alright folks, I got my car our carnitas. Um, we have onions and cilantro. Um, there is no coming on this, so this is, doesn't make this Mexican. 
Is this Portuguese today? Yeah. This is Portuguese um, with Lowry's and Love and Bob Pepper. And I'm choosing, we're choosing no tomatoes or no like sauces on it because I think uh, Lonnie has some acid reflux as well. So we're not trying to stay up all night and party um, like it's 19, what year is that? 99. 99. Very good. Um, I'll, be, I'll be good for now. Thank you. And we got chips as well. Um, I don't know if you are like this. I don't know the percentages, but some people, they say cilantro tastes like soap. Yeah. It just taste buds of certain people. And I'm not those certain people. Yeah, dessert. Dessert, yeah, look at that. <laughs> dessert, folks. I have a chewable, chewable, fancy. So he can. Yeah, he's my late night dessert. He can, he can try some of that if he wants to. The, the berry. I think it's berry tomes, cherry. And the late night dessert. <laughs> Got a nice plate there. Everything's a plate when you're camping. No, you gotta wash it anyway. Correct. And again, I thank them for hosting this and um, feeding me. I think we're gonna do, he, he just keep bringing challenges up for me. So I'm gonna have to do on the other channel, I think what, five challenges this trip maybe? We did the burrito. Mm -hmm. We did the burrito. Um, pizza. The pizza. Today's. The burger. Tomorrow's and Friday's. That's five freaking. I wouldn't even plan on doing but two. So if I'm getting fatter, blame Lonnie. He's getting skinnier. <laughs> I guess we'll call these a uh, carnita camp and talk. I'll drink too many sodas, but like I said last night, I am getting fancy and drinking sodas on this trip. I'm doing it all up. But this is the time when the mosquitoes are coming out. I see them. That's how big they are. They're like hummingbirds. I know. The one that tripped me last night. Yeah. Strung my ankle. Yep. It's purple now. I think it's purple because of the mosquito. Oh. Okay, well guys, in a minute, um, we'll probably wrap this up uh, once we get around the campfire. Talk to you guys. If you got any comments about Pismo Beach area, uh, please comment below and maybe I can try to help you out as best as possible. But very, very lovely temperature. It was 66 degrees when we got back. It's probably lower now. Um, and it's gonna get down to 51 degrees a night. And people that think California is just all hot and uh, surfing and such, it's not. Shame on you for watching too much TV and thinking that. We'll be get back to you guys. The battery's about to die. We gotta eat. Okay, it's fire time folks. We are getting the mosquitoes away from us. Um, we're gonna chillax for a little bit more and then I'm gonna get back with you. Um, I'm trying to get back with you before the sun sets and then maybe the last time in the tent just to, when it's dark so you know it's, hey, it's time to go to bed. Street lights are on, go home. Um, but uh, it's feeling really nice right here. It's gonna be 51 degrees tonight, you know that? 51 degrees. Uh, but I was toasty last night at 54, 55 degrees. I was toasty. Um, and uh, I was sweating, actually, because I had my the Luna jacket on that I was borrowed from, from Lonnie there. And it actually, I was pretty hot. If you know those Luna jackets, they got double insulated hoods. So I really like those. Okay, well, let me um, 
Let me um, I'm staring at this fire so it doesn't burn, <laughs> burn my GoPro up. Uh, I need I need this right here for the um, video. So I will see you in a little bit. Hey folks, um, I'm about to lay down and watch a movie. I'm not really sure what movie I'm going to watch, if I'm going to watch the whole thing or not, because I'm getting old, and usually I cannot make it through a whole movie. Uh, but uh, we had a good time around the campfire. Mosquitoes were still uh, crazy around here at nighttime, um, but during the day, they're not out at all, so the freaks come out at night. Um, Nothing else to uh, to talk about now, but to thank you for watching this video and continue to watch day three and day four. Um, there's going to be plenty of different stuff that we're going to try to do every day, um, just to get different content for you and just to uh, switch it up around here and have a good time. Uh, Again, like the videos, um, share the videos. If you know anybody that likes camping, likes outdoors adventures, um, subscribe if you haven't already. What's wrong with you? Uh, and I will catch you in the morning. Good night. folks um just wake it up this freaking bird won't shut the hell up um so i'm gonna wait till lonnie wakes up and um, get some more footage but i'm not gonna sit here and pretend like i'm going back to bed because i know i'm not um it is uh 5 53 or something like that I slept okay, but I'm getting older, I guess. I'm, I got up to pee about six, seven hundred times. Um, I got up to get some um, some tums. Um, and that's about all. Um, it was an uneventful night. Excuse me, I didn't get up to get a, a soda, and it's still sitting down here. I didn't even drink it. Um, and I still pee that much. Um, I'm on this Coleman cot. They never used it before. Um, it is pretty comfortable. It's, it goes up to 450 pounds, they said. Um, uh, but it's, um, it's just kind of difficult to put together. The last bar in this at the very end is, uh, um, you put one end on the other end and it's okay. But once it gets to all the tension on it, it's really difficult to put that last bar in but boy it is tight you say it folks it's too early for it right now not really but um just don't want to say it too much somebody unsubscribed <laughs> somebody unsubscribed from the other channel um their exact words I pin the I pin the comment I'm going to tell you on the other channel. I say it on both channels. I say it in real life, folks. Um, but let me um, go to that video and uh, the pinned comment. It's on Outlaw Outlaw Barbecue Earthling versus Me. Uh, if you don't know what an Earthling versus Me is, it's just a regular human being on Earth um, trying to beat me eating.
Um, here it is. Pen comment. That's what she said. Jokes haven't been a thing for 15 years. Had to leave your channel because of it. It hasn't been a thing for 15 years. You haven't been watching my channel because it's been a thing. It's a thing now. That's what she said. Um, and I pinned the comment so other people can maybe chime in on their thoughts. But my first thought, I'm the first one that chimed in. And I answer, I answer comments accordingly, okay? I'm a real life person. I have feelings too. If you're ignorant, I'm ignorant. If you're not, I'm not. If you're really nice, I'm really nice. So I said, bye. This isn't an airport. You don't need to announce your departure. If you left the channel, you stayed to comment. Huh? If you're gone, you're gone. Why comment? Um, then somebody says, if this is a reason you you leave the channel, then you are probably never here anyway. And I said, you know what? You have a great point. They haven't been subscribed to the channel. They haven't been watching my channel because they would know I say that a lot. Someone else says, that's what she said. Um, someone said, it's what the lady didn't sayeth, William Shakespeare, LOL. Um, and then someone commented, I bet you are a fun at parties. They know, you, you better know it. I'm the life of the party. Um, then uh, someone says, you're lost. That's what she said. So, I do appreciate all you um, that do support the channel, and when I pin comments that are ignorant like that, I I don't mind you telling them how you feel in a kind of okay manner. Don't, don't be cursing and slapping holy blood on, on people or nothing. But uh, let, me, uh, let me get up um, and get my day started. Uh, get some coffee and uh, chat with Lonnie a little bit and we'll be back with you, okay? With this freaking bird. So shut up now. So shut up. See you in a bit. Thursdays, guys. Thursdays. That sounds so stupid. Let's do that over. <sighs> okay, still a little bit nipply out here. Um, but at least the mosquitoes are gone for now. Usually they're gone all day long. Um, just uh, in the evening time. And that's about all. Like, like right when the sun's going down. Uh... It's Thursday, so it's toothbrush day. So I'm going to brush my teeth for at least 30 seconds. Uh, possibly 45 seconds if I, if I forget to count. Um, but other than that, guys, um, I'm uh, just going to get do my stretches. Uh, I'm old, so i got to get the kinks out. And maybe do a... Um, do a shower this morning. I didn't take a shower last night. I'll save my little 50 cent token. Um, but I might take one this morning to, to freshen up and get the eye boogers out. Um, I'm going to get some coffee made and get back with you guys. I can't think straight yet.
Okay, folks, here's a sneak peek of what you might see today on the beach. Um, he brought one of his smaller cars out here. There you go. You get a little size comparison. Okay. Show me the goods. There we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. Is that a Hemi? Got some roller rockers, uh, board out uh, pistons here. Oh yeah, I got a gonculator back here with uh, muffler bearings. Yep. This is the real deal, folks. But you're going to see this today on the beach, um, and uh, we're going to get some sand all around this puppy. Okay, but uh, we're we're just getting ready, getting all the stuff out, get situated in the vehicle, um, headed out. It's a gloomy day today. But uh, our emotions don't have to be gloomy, folks. Uh, so no bipolar action here. We're going to have a good time today, no matter what. Uh, I'm just staring at bunnies because that's, um, that's what I'm doing because they're over here eating. And uh, I'm trying to talk. I can't do two things at a time. But there you go. Okay, we'll see you guys later. Hey, Roger, Roger, Roberta. Come back here. I got a question for you. Why are gas prices so much in California? About to head out of here and do this challenge. I have my challenge shirt on. Um, what you're hearing is generator inverter that's going into this EcoFlow. It charges up in one hour. I am going to be going ahead and purchase one of these because this is the last what I'm doing in the woods. Probably lasts at least a week or two just off one charge. And you can do a uh, solar charger on it as well. Uh, so you can charge up both at the same time if, if you want. Uh, I think I'm going to be looking into one of these definitely, but uh, this is a pretty quiet one as well, guys. Um, I really, really, uh, I don't know if I'm going to need one out there, but that would be a good one to have uh, in the woods, and I need some extra power, so she's whatever. But uh, we're going to head out of here and uh, get to going, and maybe I'll get some B-roll for you guys for this footage and talk one more time, and then get. Uh, the challenge so that's my my good uh my good camera that you guys are going to see more and more on on uh, videos of this of uh, of the better quality um, by using that so i just got this light too with the diffuser on it and i have a lot of other items i can mr potato head type thing i can put a lot of different stuff on there so i uh, do have a new lens for you a new um a new uh, telescopic lens and a micro lens in one so I'm going to be I don't want to mess with it now because once I start messing with it I'm just not going to be able to stop uh, so uh, I'm going to wait to get in the woods I have plenty of time to calibrate the new lens uh, for you guys and get some even better footage so uh, let me uh, let me shut up get out of here we'll shut this stuff off and head to the challenge and I will talk to you in a little bit We're on our way to the beach. What are we doing now? We're going to race and get we're sand some, in everybody's eye. We're going to find some gold. And find some gold. And, and, and them dare and hills.
Okay, we're at the beach. It's really, really windy today. Um, so I'm gonna try to talk behind here and then we'll just put some uh, footage in. We got the professional looking uh, metal detector guy here. There we go. Yeah, we are very unsupervised, uh, but we are going to try to find um, gold, nickel, whatever. It doesn't matter. As long as we find it, it's treasure. Whoa, 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 whoa. We already got something. We already got something. What's that? What's this? Nope, it's this right here. What's the... That's a sucker. Uh, not me, not me. Oh, oh, what was this? Oh, we found it. We found a freaking nail. Okay. Okay. If anybody gets the merch, if anybody gets the merch, you can get this. It says P O T O S I, Potosi 35. the month of August in 2023, 15% off, and you might get this in there as well. What do we got? Hey, your mic is. Oh, oh, what was that? Piece of crack pipe? Sift it. Oh, yeah, maybe just grab it. Looking for the pay dirt. Glory hole! Glory hole, yo, what's that guy? <laughs> what's that? Plastic. Plastic. Recycle it. Right here. Got something. Still going? Lucky here, piece of metal. One lucky winner would win this useless piece of metal if you get some stuff from the website. Hey, it's a thought that counts, it's in the video. Just something to do, folks. Just having fun. If we find some gold, we'll be back. Oh, seagulls, it's like that movie with the crows, and everybody dies.
right, guys, it's real windy. I'm going to put my phone in the water and submerge it in the water so you can see underneath, maybe, and let you know these phones are waterproof or water resistant. Um, but I'm going to try this now. Wish me luck. It's a Galaxy Samsung S23. My S22 does it, so this apparently should do it since it's a, a little better phone. But let's, let's see. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay. It's still working. that so people can uh <laughs> guys if your car is two inches off the ground do not drive in the sand they are stuck and i'm not going to get any closer with this camera because i'll probably piss them off because they're already mad probably but again uh, uh, public service announcement PSA don't don't drive in the sand when your car is two inches off the ground already or only two inches off the ground this can get out of more sand than that car that button you pressed yeah didn't do too swell on the um, the treasure hunting we're about to do the uh, remote control car Going in for it today. Um, the water is really chilly here. It's not warm um, because it's only like 65 degrees out here for the warm for the for the highs. Uh, but I'm gonna get out of here with all the stuff in my pocket and sweat that I didn't think about that. Uh, but I am unsupervised, very unsupervised. Uh, okay. But I'm um, gonna get up here. We're probably gonna go back to the uh, the uh, campground, get my wigwam, get situated, probably get something to eat later. Okay, we got 
another one stuck guys if your car is two or three inches off the ground please don't drive in 12 inches of sand that's just a uh, PSA you're welcome hey we found our way in Walmart um, I think we're getting some bug bug spray for tonight and tomorrow um, we're not gonna probably cook tonight um, but don't worry we'll find something to eat uh, and I think before we leave, we are going to play it safe and go to a place to do a food challenge. So we don't really know on that part yet. Yeah, that was like $34, didn't they? 15, 15, 15 foot zone. I'm gonna try it. Does it come with a refill? It includes one 12. One gas and one, one thing. I got one of those. I've never, I never used it yet. But if you guys use this before, let me know if it works or not. Steve Wallace uh, uses it, so it has to be, has to be good. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, from this trip, I'm going to Philadelphia. I'm not doing any camping stuff in Philadelphia. I'm actually doing food challenges. But the next thing you see on this channel will be um, stealth camping. So the next video you see, probably in a week, uh, you'll be seeing some stealth camping videos. I'm not sure where out in America I'm going to be, uh, but uh, maybe somewhere near you. Sorry, sir. I miss aimlessly walking through life. Sorry. I need a. Oh, they don't got peach here. What peach? What? Like a cobbler? The cheap peach. I call them cheap peaches. They're not cheap. Okay, I got out of here, um, and I forgot in California and in certain states that you pay for your bags. You can't just grab five bags without paying for them. But each bag is like ten cents. But these bags are actually probably worth it. They're thick. They are definitely girthy. Um, they won't bust on you, and you can use them for a lot of different stuff. So I was was going to complain once I saw that they asked me how many bags I got, but then I felt the bag went out the window, folks. At least they made them thicker and didn't make them just a regular size like we have, that you got to double bag everything so they don't bust. But I'm waiting for them to get their goodies, and um, I distributed a lot of business cards. So uh, did... I got my 10 cents worth out of that, of advertising in Walmart. So we're gonna head back to the um, campground, um, get to eating our uh, deli sandwiches and a little snacks that we bought and chill out tonight. So we'll see what's in store for tomorrow and I will talk to you in a bit. I didn't get much cooking going on, but Lonnie just said I should have videoed some of this. I wasn't going to get all fancy with it, but I sauteed some um, onions. And if you know that, you need to put salt on there to sweat them down a little bit. But I sauteed them. Um, I made some Raymond noodles. Um, and I put some out without the juice. And I am going to have some fried noodles with onions on top of some black forest ham and cheese. So, all wrapped in a nestled, nestled lovely tortilla. So, um, let me show you the ending outcome here in a second, and I'll get back with you. Apologize, I didn't get any chef action going. I wasn't thinking about it. Um, I do apologize, but this video is already two hours long, probably. So, I was trying to help you out. So.
Okay, folks, we got our um, black forest ham with cheese, uh, Raymond noodles with some Doritos for the crunch, for the munch, um, on a, a tortilla uh, with some sauteed onions. Voila. Shake my tortilla at you. Now you're somebody. <laughs> Guys, we have... Lonnie making a Mexican pizza. Black Forest ham, cheese, onions, all on a toasted tortilla. With, no, wait, wait, there's more. Oh yeah. Drizzled with Doritos. And topped with a tortilla. Now it's a quesadilla. Mexican quesadilla. Folks, it's about an hour before the sun sets. Um, I'm probably going to call it uh, uh, early night tonight um, after we just sit around the fire for a minute. Probably try to watch a movie. Um, we got a day of uh, breaking everything down tomorrow, so I'm not going to be up here too late. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know that before I forgot and shut this camera off and put it away. But in the morning, I am going to um, chat with you uh, as soon as I wake up, as usual, um, and uh, talk a little bit more before we hit the road and do one more challenge for the other channel. Um, I'll put a video probably later on tomorrow in of what we're doing. And... Um, call it a day on the trip um, dropping me off at the airport I'll edit there and talk to you guys one last time of that day four of this uh, camping trip and in the uh, video there uh, like I said before the next video you see after this one will probably be a stealth camp uh, it might be near you just check my um, outdoors unsupervised store Dot com or DougGarbageDisposalStore.com, which is in descriptions, and check the events tab and see what video is coming out next. Once you see the date, the video is coming out, and the time, that is when the link works. The link won't work until that date and time arrives. Um, it's just scheduled, so it's hidden until then on YouTube. So, uh, with that said, guys, I will see you in the morning. Thank you very much, and. Uh, Talk to you in a bit. Go post stop recording. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm gonna get get my shoes on and go out and get this coffee. Um, Berg woke me up again. Plus. Uh, I think a train just went by, but it was just went by pretty fast. I was going to get a video for you for some B-roll, but apparently it was only like a couple cars. Uh, slept pretty good. Um, I had some snacks here, some iced oatmeal, cookies. I could dip these in milk or water. Um, water does the same thing. It doesn't taste too much different. I know you're probably saying, eh, but if you never tried it, stop it. So, um, we'll snack on some of these too. Get them out the way. I only got about four or five left. So, mine as well. Uh, packing up today. And, uh, that will be that so um, let me go get my coffee like I stated and get to get to going I'll see you outside that's all I got
Where's the path over right here? Okay, folks, ain't even got back here yet. We've been having a lovely time by the by the fire and up by the picnic table area. Um, making sure this is the right way. I don't think it is. We'll probably have to climb up on that that deal. There's a step, like a wood poking off that um, that rail over here. Uh-huh. You know there's an entrance over there. Where? That way. Yeah. There's a, uh, you can go around that way if you want. There's a rail uh, that you can step on over here. I would step or that. We didn't get to do any fishing out here, but uh, we catch fish now. We're gonna get all stinky. So we're gonna. What kind of fish you think are out here? She said sometimes there might be a shark. The way this water looks, I don't know. You said it's the overflow? Yeah, it comes off the ocean. Okay. It comes this way. It's never been this high before. It's We've got something going up in there. Beavers. Beavers. Dirty beavers. Knock the dust off that beaver. You got a dusty beaver here, Ranger. Yeah, well, I'm working on that. It's, uh, as you can see the trail now. Hey, you can come in from over here. The party town. That's the partiers right ahead. They uh, bring their t flat screen TVs out here and everything in their house and, and come out here to camp. They're quiet until nighttime. That's fine when they wake up. The freaks. <laughs> the freaks come out at night. What? What? I think the sun's not helping you guys see the see the beautiful view. This is the little spot they made for fishing here. This is a stinky spot. Yeah. Woo, this must be the goose poop poop party spot. That water don't look too clean. There's a kite. Somebody uh, lost their kite up in the tree. <laughs> yeah. See, right here. Maybe from this adventure. Oh, there it is right there. Can't see that either, I don't think. Oh. Well, there it is. I wouldn't want a tent next to it. Then you got ignorant people with, with YouTube channels walking by creaking. <laughs> Creaking the ramp and talking. But I tell people you can't you can't um, hoot with the owls and fly with the eagles, folks. It's either or. You might can for a couple of days, but don't lie to yourself. Got a nope, there's a single goose. Oh, I feel bad for it. It's been flying around here. If you guys don't know, I said this on the Facebook Live, if you are a bird, you are about 80% monogamous. When you lose your mate, you never find another. But like I said, I'm not sure about the, I'm not sure about the new age birds, if they cheat on their mate, if they go find another as soon as they go or, or what. No bikes on this trail, folks. Well, if you know anybody with a single bird. Yep. You know. Maybe they can play some music out here for them. And they can dance and frolic together and maybe be one. Oh, we turned into concrete. Yes. We, well, you know what? The transition there. I need to get this transition. B-roll here, folks. Okay. 
That was not spectacular, but I had to do it. It's a little thing. It's one of those beer tree deals. You know that fake weed that you've been seeing? Uh-huh. You get up in here and get bit by a California snake. Do you got snakes out here? Oh, yeah. Anacondas? No anacondas. Because they don't want none. They don't want none. Son. <laughs> the younger crowd does not know what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Remember that MTV when they said uh, that he got caught still in that song? He goes, no. That was ding, 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 ding. Ours is ding, 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 ding. Uh, like it goes ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ours goes ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, there's a big Okay, we got a little walk in. It does feel good back here. Um, it feels just about five degrees cooler in this pathway, um, but we are uh, about to head back and um, get everything, um, get this. The means I didn't cut my hair, I got bed head right here. I don't know if you noticed, <laughs> but I'm a uh, cot head. But um, uh, we're gonna get uh, ready to go and then I'll probably talk to you once we hit the road to let you guys know kinda um, roundabout what's what's happening. It's not much today, but to enjoy uh, the memories we got here. Um, and then we got a, a nice ride back. So back to... Visalia? Back to Visalia, back to 100 degrees maybe. Hopefully it's, a, hopefully it's not. 99, hopefully it's 99. We'll, we'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, back to Cali, going back to Cali. Is that, yeah, that a song? So. Hello, cool, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, that's a good one. All right. All right, well, we're going to get back and we'll talk to you a little bit. Okay, we made it to Jersey Mike's. They are not open yet. They open at 10, but usually a place that opens at 10 should somebody be in there getting prepping. There might be one of the cars over yonder, so. Uh, but they are working on a food and games hot crinkle what's a hot crinkle it's a french fry it's a french fry, it's a french fry. I, I mean i've never heard of a hot crinkle yeah Me i heard of accordion fries but uh i guess they would call those crinkle fries they might the people that are weird calls them crinkle fries but they're accordion fries folks get it right no <laughs> okay Oh, and I just answered a comment. I'm not sure if uh, if I said on this here, but somebody said uh, Miracle Whip is not mayonnaise. I'm like, you are correct. It's Miracle Whip. It's not mayonnaise. Um, and they said it's salad dressing. It's a sandwich spread. It's whatever you want. It's it's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a Miracle Whip. But um, ranch dressing. It's on. Ranch dressing goes on buffalo wings, and people don't say. Hey, it's dressing. What are you doing putting on chicken wings? So, people, get your life together. Stop commenting ignorant comments. Just stop it. <laughs> Who wants to go to work and deal with poop all day? Okay. Well, if you put dressing on your chicken wings. Ranch. It's, we'll, we'll it's that. healthy. Is that a chicken salad? Yeah, chicken salad. <laughs> there we go. But uh, but yeah, people, you can do whatever. It's no rules in cooking. I don't think there's no rules. It used to be, you don't supposed to put cheese on fish, but McDonald's does it and makes millions of dollars. And then they make two million dollars, so they take the cheese off now and steal the cheese and just give you a fish sandwich. There's no rules, folks. You're only limited to yourself. You can even buy a burger without buns. Pay more. Yeah, you can do that. It's called keto. <laughs> you you say you feel lighter because your your wallet is lighter. Okay. <clears throat> okay. We're burning up some um, calories here talking, and we're gonna go in, and I'm gonna do a video there hopefully for the other channel. So yep, they're wondering why they ain't open either. They just lost a customer. Jersey Mike.
Okay. Because he had to drive all the way from Jersey. <laughs> I'm here all week, folks. GoPro stop recording. Okay, folks, we just got out of Jersey Mike's. They had some really fresh ingredients. Uh, I've been to some that wasn't fresh at all, but this one was actually the, the, the freshest one I've ever been to. Um, but uh, I've done a gigantic, the biggest sandwich they had, a turkey and provolone. I had hot honey mustard and mayo on there. That's all they had. They didn't have American Whip, so I had to deal with it. Um, but um, it worked, worked out worked out good if you want to check the descriptions of the um, of the, the video um, click the link there if that links not working it's just uh, it's gonna come out whenever it comes out it's scheduled so if it's not out yet please hold your horses um, and check my website out and hit events to see when that that date and time when that link works when that date and times on there the link should work okay well we're going to be on the road um, probably go to the gas station um, later on or just make a pit stop if we have to use the restroom and um, then I will update each other there but I'm just gonna um, we got the, uh, Lonnie here um, he's the uh, captain of this boat and we're just gonna sail along and, and enjoy the weather the beautiful weather it is 67 degrees um, and let me shut up so we can enjoy this weather, guys. I'm, I'm being kind of rude, uh, but I want to actually help you guys uh, figure out where we're going to the next destination, and I try to do that. That's why the videos are longer. I don't want you aimlessly going through life not knowing what's going on. You're welcome. So, uh, okay, anything? Did I miss anything? No? Nope. Unless you told about the fight outside. I told, oh, the fight outside. Um, there was a fight outside, didn't even catch it on tape. I thought the girls, they ate outside and had the dogs outside, and they said there was a fight. Like, uh, did you get any video so I could put it in the video? But they didn't. So, what usually people say, it didn't happen. You don't got a video, it didn't happen. No, but they, <clears throat> they had a brawl out there. Said some guy was going to spank, spank another guy. Um, that kind of, what kind of brawl that was, maybe. I think they were fighting over a parking spot. Oh, well, that's, <laughs> there you go. They get a pass then, because that is something that you should fight about. That's real important in life, folks. Okay. Well, let me shut up. I'll talk to you when we get to the next destination and fill you in a little bit more before we close this video out today. Guys, we got something real important happen. He left his root beer on the box outside. And I said, maybe he has some real good suspension. Well... I think it's still there. We just bought a mile down the road and look at that. Would you look at that? Still there. Yeah. I think we I think we went two miles down the road. <clears throat> that is we should go play a lottery ticket. How about that? Okay. On to the next weird thing if you're gonna see this video. Yeah. Hey folks, I'm at um, Blackwell Corner General Store. They have a lot of stuff inside. I probably won't go inside so I have to buy nothing. But I pulled up and I saw this uh, Chevrolet. I don't want to get too close to it. Uh, the gentleman, I don't want to scratch it because I probably can't afford to paint it. But it is a, a nice low rided Impala. I'm not sure what year that is, but if you know what year that is, please let me know in the comments um, if you're a car guy, car girl. Um, this place is known for Jimmy Dean, not, not uh, well, John Dean. I, I just know Jimmy Dean because I'm fat. And, uh, but James, no, not even Jimmy. I don't know. This is Jay, god dang it, people. I don't know who the heck that is. Let me know, but let's uh, read this. 
James Dean made his last stop at this corner on September 30th, 1955. The young actor died in a car crash a short time later while en route to Salinas for an auto race. Although he appeared in only three films, James Dean remains a legend. Uh, I'm not sure what the aerial March 2017 is. I'm not sure what the John Kearney 2004, but um, yes, I just, I, I know Jimmy Dean because I'm fat, but James Dean, this is him right here. If you guys know who I'm talking about, I probably saw him in a movie, but that, that is him. So, they're in there, um, probably get some snacks and such and getting the dogs out to walk, uh, to walk so they can uh, take care of their business. Um, but we are about an hour away from the house and it is already 85 degrees here, so it is freaking scorching. Um, well, it's, it was about 100 there. Uh, so I think today it's getting 95 where they live, but at least there's no humidity because if I was back in Mississippi, uh, Mississippi, then it'll be 95 and about 95% humidity. So that said, guys, I'm gonna shut this down, uh, wipe this, these couple beads of sweat off my head. And uh, I think I got a tan this trip, folks. So I will talk to you in a bit. Oh, yeah, that one there, that one there, gotta watch them. All right, there we go. The dog got some dog walkers here. They uh, they they have been uh, saying this. They have been really really good. They helped uh, do the campsite and everything, and uh, break everything down. Uh, they're good kids. I'm not just saying that because they're standing right here beside me, but uh, <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, no fighting or nothing. So they they they're. And I always say that that's why I came here to California because uh, they're a family that does a lot of stuff together and I wish I did more with my daughter uh, before she had passed, but I, I, that what drew me to him and his channel because they like to do family stuff and I, I, I just feel, feel really good when I see him spending time with his family and his kids and it means a lot to me to, uh, to get some memories uh, of the past for my daughters. So uh, we had a good trip and uh, we've got another hour to go and I get some scenery for you and uh, that's about all, so see you in a bit. I thought there was some rocks and stuff or gum, gum or something on show. These are these little, I call them sand burrs. What, what's the name of them here? Pour these sharp things? Stickers. Well, they're all over the shoes. They look like kidney stones with, with, with bigger spikes. Look at that. Okay, going back in your car. Alright folks, uh, we made it back to Visalia, um, California, and uh, I wanted to thank Lonnie and the Noons for hosting this uh, this camping uh, video, well the camping, and getting this video to you guys. Um, how often do you go out there? Like do you go a lot or just every now and then? We try to go camping at least once every two months. 
Well, sometimes more, but it just depends on the work. Okay. And you camp in the wintertime or just yes. when it's... Okay. All year long. All right. Because I know a lot of people, you said, when it's 110 here, they like to go there to camp because it's probably about hot as it ever is going to get, maybe 80 degrees. Or maybe a fluke, you said, uh, uh, maybe 90. Uh, every now and then they'll get about a 90, and then they want to come here. Yeah. But normally, <laughs> normally it's 70-something probably, and it was really nice every day. It didn't rain at all. Um, does it ever, is this Southern California? This is, this is more of a Central California. So not Southern, because yeah, I heard it never rained. Oh, it Southern rains here California. a lot. Well, Southern California would be like your LA area. Okay, okay. Well, uh, yeah, guys, I'm going to be heading to the airport a little bit shortly. Uh, I'm going to be editing videos for you guys. Um, editing probably maybe this video, starting on it, but this video is going to take quite a while to edit, so when you're seeing it, a lot of work went into it, a lot of thought went into it, um, and it's a movie, so it's about two, two and a half hours long, I would say, but, uh, you know, Yeah. and uh, other than that, I enjoyed this trip, you know, you're going to see a lot of stuff happening, as you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm moving and and grooving, so I'm... And you're going to see a lot of stuff in this camp that you have not seen. Never, so not, don't not fast at all. Forward. Yes, don't <laughs> fast forward, you know who you are. Um... And you're going to see me going around the country because I just told you guys from making this video two weeks ago that um, I'm going to be going around the country. So I'm already in California. I'm going to Philadelphia here in a little bit, and that's for the other channel. But uh, I will be doing some stealths here and there, so you'll be getting some uh, videos out. Uh, I do want you to please, again, look in the descriptions. Uh, Lonnie's RCs and Outdoors. Um, this is channel here where he has a lot of RCs, but not just that. It's outdoor items as well. It could be fixing something. Um, it could be ran just random, random. stuff. Uh, he is also known as Mr. Random Dude. 82? Yeah. So I got 250 videos up right now, so there's plenty to watch. Mm -hmm. I'll be posting soon. I got so. some footage out. And he does, and for you guys that don't like these two hour movies, then you can watch a lot of shorts and reels and such on his Facebook and shorts on the YouTube. Um, he has uh, like some one, two minute videos and uh, very entertaining as well. Um, he is a, uh, we, we get along well because we have a lot of stuff in common. Um, so, uh, so it is, uh, really good to meet him. This is the first time I met him in person, but we chatted on the phone, text a lot, and we, uh, he likes pickles. He likes the pickles. He likes the pickled eggs I used to do. I don't do them right now, and it's probably going to be quite a while, so don't worry about it don't, if you don't see on the website. But I still do the gooey butter cakes, the pickles, um, and such. So, that said, I don't know what else to say. Do you got anything else you want to say? Well, no, I think we said it all. Okay, I do talk a lot, so. But uh, I'll be at the airport. I'll see you one last time before I take off. And we will um, call this uh, uh, a great uh, first voyage on my lifelong tour. Is that what that, we just yeah, said on the Brandon, live? Uh, Brandon's tour. A life tour, guys. <laughs> it's just I'm, I'm, I it's, don't have to be anywhere but where I'm at. And the shirt says it all. Yep. Unsupervised. Yep. I thought you said this one here. That one too. Yep. That's <laughs> why I get into trouble. Okay. All right, guys. We will see you at the. I will see you at the airport.